Hello, it's Shakira. Welcome back. I have a exercise that will help you um, with your with your self esteem. So what you're gonna need is a mirror, and I'm gonna clean mine off a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna be successful cleaning this off, but you just need a mirror, something that you can look into. Okay, try to clean it, make sure it's clean. And this is the mirror exercise that I read in The Success Principles. And in this book, it's, it's a business book as it sounds, but it's not just a business book. It is for, you know, just for improving your life. And I read this book several years ago and, you know, this mirror exercise is important because most people have low self-esteem or they have self-doubt. And so when you do this mirror exercise, you look yourself in the eye and you start to break down the self-doubt by doing this exercise with, through affirmations, but also through looking deep into who you truly are deep into your eyes okay so you get a mirror or you do this in your bathroom but I suggest getting a mirror where you can be all up in your stuff all up in it so that you can see who you truly are and so that you can also connect to who you truly are and you know there will there will be no escaping so do this with me put me on pause if you uh, need to go get a mirror but you're gonna bring the mirror close to you. And you'll be sitting up nice and tall and you'll look deep into your eyes. And then you'll start with your affirmations. I believe in myself. I'm beautiful. I am successful. I'm amazing, I'm intelligent, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm a good mom, I'm beautiful, I am successful, I have all the energy I need to complete all of the things that I love to do. I have lost 20 pounds, I'm healthy, I wear a size six, I'm a perfect size six, I have the most amazing and loving partner. I have all the money that I can use in my bank account now. My bank accounts are overflowing. I have so much money, I don't know what to do with it. Everyone respects me. And you get the picture. Um, so I feel good after saying that, but I remember when I first started let me turn facing towards you. I remember when I first started, I actually cried. I got emotional looking into my eyes and um, saying those things because initially I did not believe any of it <laughs> because I had low self-esteem, you know? And so it doesn't matter what you're working on. If you're working on losing weight, you need to have you know, I'm a perfect size six or whatever your size that you're going after or, you know, I love working out. I love the feeling of sore muscles. I love waking up early to go to the gym. I love eating healthy. I love healthy foods. I love eating salads. I love drinking tons of water over and over and over again. If you think that you're not attractive, I am beautiful. I am just as beautiful as Beyonce and J-Lo. I command attention in every room that I get. I am so beautiful and confident. I, I wear the best clothes. I do my, you know, whatever. Um, you know, will help your mind start to believe these things, you know, and if you're saying, well, I don't have the, you, you stop, stop with the excuses because your mind, the more you fill your mind with what it really needs to hear, the more your outer world will start to change because you have to realize that if you got mess going on out in here, it's going to manifest in your world in one way or another. Okay, so if you have a money issue, I'm sorry, but my lips are just chapped. This dry air. 
if you have issues with money and you want more money, you get in the mirror and you say, I feel rich and elegant. I am wealthy. I am, um, you know, my bank accounts are overflowing with cash. I have unlimited cash flow. Money continues to come to me and checks, cash, and credit cards. I have uh, an abundance of money. I have so much money, I don't know what to do with it. You know, stuff like that. Whatever your issue is, tailor your mirror affirmations to who you are. And don't shy away from the fact that when you start doing it, you feel emotional or you feel uncomfortable. It's gonna feel emotional and uncomfortable at first because you're starting something new. But the more you do it, the more it'll feel like normal and the more, um, and the easier it'll be for your mind to accept, you know, what you're saying to it. So, I think that's it. Just realizing that the mind is like, it's like, uh, it's not hard, it's not like glass. Like it can be changed and it can be molded into what you want it to be. What your current mindset is, is not set in stone. It's not fixed. It's not, uh, sorry, I'm just over here smelling oils. It's not the end all be all. You can be living a certain life one, you know, for half of your life and then change it. Jim Rohn said that in one of his lectures. You could, you can decide after living a crappy life to live a better life, you know, just by deciding to change your habits, okay? And so this is a really cool, inexpensive, everybody has a mirror. You don't even have to buy this or anything like this. Um, you can just go in the mirror and start, you know, saying stuff over and over again. To yourself so with that said I hope that that I hope that this technique will help you uh, realize how amazing you are and I will see you in the next video bye